What's up, everybody? What a big win by the Eagles tonight. Complete fucking domination from start to finish. Chiefs pull it out. I thought they'd hang on there. Jacksonville with that field goal for that cover late against the spread. It is what it is. Cincinnati Buffalo, the first game I'm talking about. Underdog 7-2 and two against spread over 7-3 and three the last 10 meetings. Bengals are 5-1-1 one one against spread their last seven games in January. Since here, 4-1-1 one one against spread their last six playoff games. Bengals are 12-3-1 against spread versus teams with winning records. Cincinnati are 19-7-1 against spread versus the AFC. Bengals are 21-8 against spread their last 28 road games. Uh... Versus a team with a winning home record. Sorry, that would be the Bills in this case. Cincinnati are 36 and 17 against spread their last 53 games on the road. Bills are 10, 4, and 2 against spread following and against the spread loss. Buffalo are 2 and 5 against spread their last seven playoff games. Bills are 2 and 5 against spread their last seven home games. Buffalo are 1 and 5 against spread versus teams with a winning record. Under is 4 and 0 in Cincy's last four road playoff games. Under is 8 and 1 in the Bengals' last nine playoff games. Under is 12 3 and 1 in Cincinnati's last 16 games versus AFC teams. Under is 11 and 3 in Bengals' last 14 games played in January. Under is 5 and 1 in the Bills' last six home games. Over is 4 and 0 in Buffalo's last four playoff games. Over is 4 and 0 in Bills' last four games played in January. Bengals are 5-1, 5 5-11 against, let me start that one all over, sorry. Bengals are 5-11 against spread versus Buffalo. Since here, 4-12 straight up versus the Bills. Bengals are 2-7 straight up their last nine games in Buffalo. Damar Hamlin, he's on everyone's mind. How will the team act? How, how will the team react? Sorry. And will the Bills be able to temper them emotions and use them in a positive way instead of letting it affect them emotionally? Uh, when Josh Allen is blitzed, he ranks 28th in EPA. When he's not blitzed, he ranks second in EPA. Hey, out of my candy. Sorry, my daughter's dog's getting into my candy. Uh, since he will be without three starters on the O-line, which could be a big factor in this game. Bills are 4-0 straight up in home playoff games under Sean McDermott. Bengals have forced 11 turnovers in their last five postseason games. Josh Allen turned it over three times last week. He actually threw two interceptions, fumbled the ball three times, but only three of those worked out into turnovers for the Dolphins. Uh, per Elias Sportsboro, only two players have led the league in turnovers and still reached the conference final the past 45 seasons, Eli Manning in 2007 and Jim Kelly, former Bills QB in 1992. Jamar Chase has at least seven receptions in nine straight games. The reason that latter statement was, uh, why I brought up that other statement, sorry, is Josh Allen led the league with 19 turnovers this year. I like the Bills to win this game, 30-20, 28-17, 28-20. It's going to be 2 degrees Celsius, 36 Fahrenheit, 59% chance of snow slash precipitation. Uh, I like the Bills to win this game and cover the spread. Good luck with all your picks. Peace.